You're shaking big in and welcome to your 21st Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at styling forms. Wow. Alright then guys, so I have gone ahead and added this little bit of content at the bottom. I've got this get in touch paragraph right here which is six columns and then also I've added this form in right here. Just a simple HTML form um, which is six columns in width as well because I need somewhere for people to get in touch, right? Now at the minute this looks pretty crilly, but Bootstrap gives us some classes so that we can make this look a lot better, dead simple. All right, the first thing we want to do is add the class form control to our input fields. So for example, I could say um, input class equals, oops, let's get rid of caps, class equals form control like that and if I save it and refresh, now you're going to see that this form control now goes to the full width. It's given some padding and it just looks a lot nicer. So I'm going to do that for the other one as well, just below it. So I'm going to copy that and I'll paste it here and we'll save and see what that uh, looks like. Okay, looking a bit better. Um, the next thing I want to do, because everything is kind of squashed together, is assign form groups to these elements. Now, form groups kind of group together the related elements in a form, okay? So this right here, this label and this input, they're related. So I put those together in a form group and it's gonna space them out a little bit from other form groups, all right? So what you need to do to do that is just a simple div here with a class equal to form hyphen group and then I'll get that closing div and just put it at the bottom here like that and scoot this in a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is exactly the same for this one down here. I'll add that label in there, div form group, and just put the, uh, the closing div at the bottom like that. Let's save that and take a look at it so far. Okay, so now you can see those have spread out a little bit. Looks a little bit cleaner. Um, we've still got this mystery div thing here. That's that. Let's get rid of that. All right. Um, yep, looks a lot better. Now let's group these things together. Now, this thing here, they're both checkboxes because I want to know which course they want to go on, either Ninja or Wizard. And these two here, they're radio imports. So these belong together and these belong together. So I'm going to place these in a form group as well. I'll copy that there and I'll put the closing div like so. Scoot those in and I'll do exactly the same for this one. Put the closing div at the bottom and I'll also move those in a little bit. Save that and refresh. Now you can see these are kind of, these are on the line below these basically, all right? Now, what I wanna do is make these look a little bit better, right? And to do that, I can apply the inline, radio inline or checkbox inline class, and we apply it to the label itself. So I'm just gonna give this a class equal to checkbox, because it's a checkbox inline, and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing for the one down here. And I'm gonna save that and refresh and uh, there we go, just looks a little bit nicer now, spaces it out a touch and uh, takes away that bold um, style it's got. All right, we'll do the same thing for these down here. We'll add in the class, but this time instead of checkbox, it's radio because these are radio buttons and uh, we'll copy that and we'll paste this on this label as well. So what we're making these do is displays in line really and there we go, that's cool. Um, so now you'll notice we can actually select both of these, right? Now we don't want that. We want to associate these two together, these two options, because they can't be male and female. So to do that, what we need to do is give this a name, give this a name, and they have to match these two inputs. So let's give this a name here, and we'll let the name be gender, and let the name here be gender as well. Save that and refresh. This time, only one can be selected, whereas both can be selected there, okay? If they want to do both, that's absolutely fine. 
So last thing we want to do is just style up this button down here and uh, remember we can add these button classes to input fields so let's give this a class of BTN that's the global class then we'll make this button default that's the contextual class and we have all those other contextual classes as well like a button primary or button warning etc we can use whichever one we want I'm going to use that one now that looks a little better as well I could like I say make this something else like primary and it will change the style of that button to blue so whatever we want to use we can do all right so there we go guys that is how to make a quick nice looking form a lot easier than going into the css and doing this all of ourselves um yeah really cool one of my favorite parts of bootstrap if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment down below in fact before i do go i'm going to show you one other thing right because i know some people you see these labels right here some people don't really like those being on the form um in fact this thing here needs to change where is it email label for email there should be a placeholder somewhere input input there it is silly me i didn't change that before let's just refresh okay uh, that's just me being ocd so let's get rid of these labels now we don't want to delete them that's bad practice because then screen readers won't be able to read them and they might not be able to so, uh, associate what these input fields are for now we want screen readers to see them we just don't want them to show on desktop screens like this right so what we can do is give these a class of and this is kind of like a, a global bootstrap class that we can apply to anything um, SR only and that stands for screen readers only so if there's any element that we only want to be viewable for screen readers we can apply that class to those so let's give it to that label as well we need these labels down here otherwise they won't know what to select in so I'll save that and let's give this a quick refresh and this time the labels go away I like to have the labels there other people don't so it depends on your preference but there we go guys that's how to make a nice clean form like I say, any questions, leave those down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.